Hi, I'm Patty Kamir, and I'm going to talk about the characteristics you need when you hire a front office person. First of all, they have to realize that they're one of the most important employees in the company. Most important because that's the first opinion and the first impression that they're going to get of your company. Your reputation speaks for itself, but what are they going to be like at that front desk? So you've got to have somebody that's energetic and fun and friendly. I ask the girls at the front desk, do you think I want you to be friendly or professional? And I would rather them be friendly, professional, of course, second. But you got to be friendly. Create a relationship. If you create a relationship with those people at the front desk, you will have more students than you will need, literally. Number one, they must possess great people skills that are able to recognize names easily, um, remember those faces, be friendly. You know, can they talk to strangers? You're going to have to figure that out when you're hiring them if they're that type of person. Because you can train the skill, but you've got to hire the attitude and hire the personality. You can train how to do QuickBooks and face, uh, FaceTime, I started to say, and Jackrabbit and that type of thing, but you cannot make somebody's personality different. So you need to hire that from the beginning. Can they make customers feel special and comfortable? And will they create that professional, friendly relationship with your customers? Number two, they need solid knowledge of the facility, the prices, the program philosophies, the teacher's bios, the backgrounds on them, and the curriculum. And they need to understand that, that they don't have to be able to speak off the tongue just right away and talk about all those things. They have to have strong telephone skills. Are they friendly and happy on the phone? You know, you should put on the phone, tape a little piece of paper that says opportunity because your staff has an opportunity when they answer the phone to create a relationship and get that customer right from just their personality and the way they handle, I should say, that customer. So the telephone skills have to be very, very strong and are able to give good driving directions. I can't tell you how important that is. I will be across the country and I want to go see a gym school. I'll call up and say, can you tell me how to get there? And you'd be surprised at people going, okay, well, when you get off I-65, you're going to head east. Well, maybe it's not east. Maybe that's west. Oh, I, well, when you get off the expressway, turn left. No, make sure you have that perfectly down. The ability to handle multitasking, however, interrupting is what's going to happen even more than your ability to multitask. Can they handle the interruptions? Because that's what happens. They start on a project, interrupt it on the phone. Start a project, somebody walks in. We have two people at our front desk area. We call it man number one and man number two. The most important part of man number one is to have that tummy up against the counter and welcoming and saying hello and goodbye to all the customers. They're the ones creating relationship. Man number two is mostly on the phone, handling little problems that happen at the desk. But creating a relationship is everything. Uh, number five, ability to discreetly enforce the school policies but have the empathy and the wisdom to know when to bend the rules. Because if you are a person that does not give, as an owner, if you do not give that person at the front desk the empowerment to give credit or to give makeups and not just follow the policies every single time, then you're not going to have a happy group of people because your front desk isn't going to be happy and your customers sure aren't going to be happy either. Number six, a high energy level but yet fun, yet no inappropriate jokes and no foul language. That's very important and you might say, well, of course not. You know what, when those women and men parents are on the bleachers and they hear what's going on in the front office, you've got to have somebody that's really got good moral character and, and knows how to handle themselves in a professional manner. Number seven, the professional general appearance, are they, do they have makeup on? They need to wear makeup. They need to look professional. They need to look alive and happy and, and up. And that's important to do. Do they look fit? Do they look friendly? That's all very important. Number eight, receptive to training. They may think they know how to do, um, you know, uh, Microsoft Word or whatever they're going to do in the office or how they used to do Jackrabbit at a different gym school, but are they receptive to learning the way that you do it at your, at your gym? Number nine, working hard, dependable, and flexible. And boy, that's an important one. How are you going to be flexible in this job when we need you at different times and different shifts, you'll ask the person in an interview, because they need to be flexible in their time. Number 10, ability to stay on task. Are they tenacious and keep going on that task and get back to the task before they were interrupted? So can they do that? And you're gonna to have to really give them some time to show you that they can do that. Number 11, be organized. Are they an organized kind of person? Talk to them about that. Ask them a question. Um, give me an example of how you organize your home or how do you organize your last workspace and let them tell you about that. Number 12, be honest, ethical, and demonstrate a commitment to the company. 
If they come in for the interview and you say, after you looked at our website, what did you like most about it? And if they say, oh, you know what, I, I didn't get a chance to look at your website. Well, that should be an indication right there that they didn't do their homework. And are they consistent? We ask our staff at the office to be 100% consistent 100% of the time. So that's important and you can ask them how that's going to be. Number 14, don't participate in gossip. Those attributes that I've given you are so important. And I'll tell you what, the gossiping in an office, that can get out of hand real quickly. So those are some of the characteristics that I look for when I want someone in the front office to be the type of person that I need. This came out of Front Office Excellence, number 163. It's $39.95 for a hard copy and only $34.95 for a digital download. Go to our website at tumblebear.com. I started to say www like you need to say that anymore. Tumblebear.com or call us at 219-865-2274. Thank you.